So here we are again for the uh, next toolkit entry. This one's called Zoom Factor and Area. And there's a chart over here that I'd like you to go ahead and copy down and put into your toolkit. So one column is Zoom Factor, one's Perimeter, one's Area. And let me just explain the basic uh, tenets of how this works here. If you had a rectangle, say that rectangle was uh, two units by three units, and you had another rectangle that was four units by six units, you would say that the zoom factor here, the zoom factor is four to two, or you could say it's six to three. So you just take the corresponding parts here, four divided by two or six divided by three. So the zoom factor here would be two. And what happens is if you actually look at the uh, perimeter and the area for each figure here, you'll see kind of the relationship. So let's take a look at uh, perimeter here. Perimeter would be simply 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. So the perimeter here would wind up being 10 units. And if we went ahead now and looked at the actual area, area would be 2 times 3. Area would be 6 square units. Likewise, if we do this down here, we could calculate the perimeter. So we'd say 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6. Well, that's 20. And so immediately we see the, the relationship as if we just took the original perimeter of the smaller finger and multiplied by 2, that, that would be 20. Now, when we look at the area, something else happens here. 4 times 6 would give us the area, so that would be 24. Now, 6 times 2 is not 24, but this happens to be 6 times 4. So when the zoom factor is 2, the perimeter right here, zoom factor is 2, the perimeter you can multiply by 2, but area you multiply by 4. And so what happens is if you were to do more and more figures like this, you'd start noticing that, that the zoom factor is 3. Hey, perimeter is 3 times as much, but the area is 9 times as much. So this number comes from taking the zoom factor and squaring it. So all of these areas here are the zoom factor squared. So it, it multiplies not by whatever that zoom factor is, but by that zoom factor squared. And that's what's shown down here. R, if the R is the zoom factor, then you multiply the perimeter by R to get the perimeter, but you multiply by R squared to get your area. And what's powerful about this is that you don't actually need to have the actual shape here and the dimensions. You can still make decisions about what the new perimeter and area is going to be. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I were to take a figure, and right over here I have, suppose a figure has a perimeter of 20 and an area of 30 square centimeters. Find the area and perimeter if the sides are either doubled or quadrupled or halved. So what we could do here is we could take the original perimeter, which in this case was 20, right? It says 20 right up over here. And if we were to go ahead and, and double the sides, that means simply all you have to do is multiply by 2, and that's your new perimeter. So the new perimeter would be 40 centimeters if you double the sides. However, area was 30. We don't multiply by 2. We multiply by 2 squared, which is 30 times 4, which is 120. So it would be 120 square centimeters. If we were to quadruple the sides instead, the perimeter was 20. We'd go ahead, quadruple means multiply by 4, so we'd multiply by 4. The new area, I'm sorry, not the new area, but the new perimeter would be 80 centimeters. And the area would be the original area, but instead of multiplying by 4, we multiply by 4 squared. So 30 times 4 squared, well, 4 squared is 16, so it's really 30 times 16. That ends up being 16 times 3 is 48. Add on the 0, you get 480, and that would be square centimeters. Finally, what if you shrink the figure? So we've gone from a perimeter of 20 and an area of 30, and we take the sides and cut them in half. Same exact process here. Perimeter was 20. Because now our zoom factor is half, we just multiply by a half. So 1 half of 20 is 10. So now it'll be 20 centimeters is our new perimeter. And the area would be 30, the original, and then we multiply it by 1 half squared. Well, what is 1 half squared? Well, it's 1 times 1 on the top and 2 times 2 for the bottom, so it'd be 30 times 1 fourth. 1 is our numerator, 4 is our denominator. And if you take 30 times a quarter, grab your calculator or do it in your head, and it ends up being 7 and a half square centimeters. So that's the power of the zoom factor, is you can, you can find the area in the perimeter of the new figure quickly without even having to know what the figure actually looked like. So that's it. Let's move on to the next one.